want to create a great looking logo like this? You won't believe how easy it is with Filmora. To use these features you'll need to download the latest Filmora version 13.3. Link in the description below. I'm John and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. On the media section we go down to Influence Kit. Click on there. We've got two options. An intro or a logo reveal. So click on Start Creating Logo Reveal. This brings us up some options where we can hover our mouse over and it shows us a preview. To use any of them you simply click on them, let it download and then it will preview it. So there's some great options there and the way you create your logo is very very simple. You click on one that you like and you either click on edit there, I'll just go back, or you can click on start creating. It takes you to the same place. It shows you that it's five seconds long and they recommend you use a logo that is 1080 by 1080 pixels but you can use any size you want really. Obviously around that size is the best. So I'm just going to add a logo now and this logo is for a designer. So I'll type the word designer in there, let's play it through and see what it looks like. That looks really nice, it's a lovely logo design that one, I like that one, it's my favourite actually. So let's go back to the other ones, if we click on a digital pixel, let's choose that one and again click on edit or start creating, choose our logo and I'll change the text this time, I'll just leave it as logo reveal. But again a, a nice logo intro, lovely effects. Let's look at one more, fly in, we'll choose edit this time and click on add, choose our logo and there we go. If you want to know the information about your logo if you click on the little question mark there it tells you it's a 1080 by 1080, it's a PNG and it's less than 10 megabytes in size. Let's go back. So you can choose any logo design you want and simply insert your logo and text and you're good to go. Once you've created it, as I'm doing now, I'll change the text again back to designer. You click on finish. That puts it into the timeline for you. We can play that through. Here we go really really nice and from here we can export it we can add audio titles effects anything else that we do on a normal video or we can actually edit it further if we've made a mistake or we want to add something or take something away simply click on edit there it takes you back to the editing panel once you're done export your video as you would normally with any other video and that's it simple but really effective logo intro I love it if you enjoyed that tutorial then please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell it really does help my channel as always thanks for watching now go have some fun